Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Randall M. Roof. I am a 1992 graduate. No, 1993. Started in 92. Finished in 93. A 1993 graduate of the Hobart Institute of Welding Technology. And they put out a magazine called The World of Welding. Uh, and it says right there, the Hobart Institute of Welding Technology. And this is their summer 2016 uh, edition of the uh, magazine. It's not very thick. never is. Um, but they have some interesting news and what's going on with the school and welding. And if you're into welding or into reading about welding, um, it's a good source. There's, again, it's not very thick, but it's, there's information there. And I got, like I said, got the uh, magazine there today. And one of the things the school is doing, as you can see here, the new construction. Um, when I went to school there, um, back in 1992 and 93, um, Started school at 8 a.m., finished about 4 o'clock. Had an hour for lunch. Um, we had four, four hours of class before lunch and four hours after. And we started with classroom instruction um, and then hands-on in the lab. Uh, majority of it in the lab. Normally about half hour, 45 minutes in the class in the morning. Basically one hour of the class was instruction and seven other hours of working. Um... Out in the lab, generally speaking. Of course, that average, I mean, it wasn't always the same, but you get the idea, approximately. And they had classes running from the morning to, to the afternoon. Well, if you've been following the school and what they're doing, they're now running night and day classes. So they have, you know, classes during the day and classes that go, you know, from night to morning. So the school has grown as far as what it's doing. Well now they're going to the fact where they're building an additional building next door to the current building. So this is a big step forward for my alma mater. I'm very excited for them. Uh, it looks like it's partially done. Uh, according to this, it says, uh, let's see, where was it? Uh, I think they said somewhere it was around 20% done. I don't know where, where I read it, but it was one of these pages. It said they were approximately 20% done. So they got a way to go yet, but they're, uh, again, they're, you can see the pictures here that are, you know, they're, they're working on it. So it's being worked on. And they got some neat articles in here and uh, talk about some sort of added staff and some new students. And they always have articles about their staff members, whether their staff members are retiring or they're hiring somebody new or somebody has, at the school has, that works there has got another accreditation or certification, um, things like this. Um, and then a lot of times they have stories about students from overseas or if they're not from overseas, they're from a different state and tells their story about how they got started in welding and why they came to the school. Because it really is the world, uh, when it comes to welding, I'm proud to say this is the place to go, okay? Troy, Ohio, Hobart Institute of Technology. Uh, I was there for 10 months uh, studying Got my combination and uh, or structural and combination pipe welding degree. It was, uh, I also, uh, aside from that, I added a, tita a titanium TIG titanium class, which I really enjoyed. Um, so basically, the, the program itself was nine months, but you know, I took the additional TIG gas tungsten welding TIG, which was a couple of weeks. So basically, ten months. And it was basically twelve thousand dollars. I don't know what it is now, but I'm sure it's it probably a little bit more, obviously. But uh, very enjoyable experience. Very good staff. Very well educated teachers uh, that know very well what they're doing. So highly recommend it. Based on my experience back in 1992-93, um, I haven't been back there for a long time, so I don't know what it's like to have. I'm sure. I'm sure it's just as good, if not better. Um, so. See, here's a, they've got pictures of women welding, too. Um, somebody that's into bikes doing welding. Um, as you can see, they're on Facebook, YouTube, IN. That's Instagram. I'm not sure. I'm not real, for, I mean, I'm not real familiar with IN, so I don't know what that meant, really, uh, what that website's like. But uh, construction updates. Since 1930. Since 1930, Hobart Institute of Welding Technology has trained over 100,000 welders. Wow. That's a lot of people. Uh, you can see right here where the current school is, or where the current 
school in and across the street where the new building is, which is nice. Uh, uh, here's somebody with his grandmother. <laughs> um, some welding done, some pipes for some, looks like some water works of some kind. Some guy standing on a bridge or something, a pipe weld. Um, just different, you know, there's different things in here. There's information about it. I haven't read the whole thing yet, but. Uh, they're honoring some of their students who got good attendance and perfect attendance and high academic achievement, etc., etc. Uh, let's see. They got some Boy Scouts things going on with the Boy Scouts. That's just kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's some more stuff about the Boy Scouts. They're cutting and forging and hammering and cutting it out and doing different stuff. Talk about loan options for people trying to go to school there. Uh, just people who visit the students who visit the school, they take their picture and put it in the magazine. So if you go for a tour, you may end up in the magazine. <laughs> you may end up in the pages of a magazine. Um, here, the students are up at the front side in front of the building. Uh, here's some with the flag, Hobart flag. I love getting one of those flags. That'd be cool. Again, more people who have visited the school or are students that currently. And uh, let's put okay, we'll that here. Again, more pictures. Lots of pictures. Lots of pictures are good. And then, of course, on the, on the very last page, they have they have a listing of all the classes that are going on now and for the next foreseeable um, foreseeable well until November or October, it looks like so. If you want to get your find out what what classes are being taught and when they're when they're available to take, and look on the back page. Of course, you can always go to www.welding.org to the home site of the Hobart Institute of Welding Technology, my alma mater, and the producers of the Hobart Institute of Welding Technology, the world of welding. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the world of welding, uh, summer 2016. Uh, brief overview by myself. Alumni, friendly and roof. Um, I learned a lot of Hobart. I'm appreciative of what they taught me and what I've learned. And uh, if you go there, I'm sure uh, in time you'll have the same experience if you put in the work. You have to do the work. Uh, yeah, you have to do the work. I mean, there's no doubt about it. When you go there, it's it's not where you just sit in the classroom and you're like, hmm. you have to go out and you have to, I mean, there is classroom. We're totally wrong. But you have to, uh, especially the first two weeks. <laughs> first two weeks is nothing but classwork. But after that first two weeks of blueprint reading and welding symbols and all that, uh, but everything else is, you know, mornings or first half hours classroom and the rest of it's lab work. So lots of lab work uh, after your first two weeks there. And um, that's what it is. So until next time, I'm Ralph Mercer. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and may God bless you. And keep those torches lit.